Hey, 49ers enthusiasts. We're delivering groundbreaking updates that have set our team ablaze. Fans are navigating skepticism, encountering the mystery of unfolding events. Subscribe now and dive into this captivating journey through revolutionary news. The 49ers took four years to make it back to the Super Bowl between their first and second appearances under Kyle Shanahan. Except for the injury-laden 2020 season, San Francisco remains a consistent NFC playoff powerhouse with a good chance of winning the conference again in 2024. The NFC will present its usual array of formidable contenders, including the Lions, Cowboys, Eagles, and Packers. The 49ers must maintain their edge against the 2023 playoff teams and new upstarts by addressing key issues in the upcoming offseason. Here are the five major questions facing the 49ers for the next season. The 49ers' offensive line can continue relying on future Hall of Famer Trent Williams, who, at 36, is coming off another outstanding season. However, upgrades are needed for the rest, especially with journeyman interior blocker John Feliciano, nearing 32, as their next best lineman in 2023. Feliciano and swing backup Matt Pryor are impending free agents. Right tackle Colton McKivitt struggled while replacing Mike McGlinchey, now at the Broncos. Left guard Aaron Banks and center Jake Brindle were shaky elsewhere on the inside. Despite a tight cap situation, the 2024 draft offers excellent value for both inside and outside line upgrades. The 49ers have 11 picks, including six in the first four rounds. At wide receiver, Brandon Ayuk is under his rookie first round contract through 24. Still, the 49ers must consider trading him for high value, given the substantial salaries of key targets Debo Samuel and George Kittle. The team also needs to decide whether to tender and keep Jawan Jennings as a restricted free agent. It won't be surprising if San Francisco uses one of its higher picks on a wide out, considering the strength of the position in the 2024 class, much like the offensive line. The 49ers traded for Bose's former Ohio State teammate Chase Young, but the former commander is a pinning free agent at the other defensive end. Additionally, at tackle, Javon Kinlaw, Kevin Givens, and Sebastian Joseph Day are in sign behind Javon Hargrave and Ari Garmstead. San Francisco needs to enhance its ability to pressure the quarterback on the outside and bolster the inside rotation. The draft offers strong options for versatile pass rushers. The 49ers boast one of the league's best outside corners and former Chief Charvarius Ward. Still, there have been some coverage issues behind him with Diamador Lenore, Ambry Thomas, and others. Adding quality depth makes sense, especially for handling slot receivers. At safety, the 49ers should be fine if Talanoa Hufanga returns well from his mid-season torn AC. Tashawn Gibson played well at the other spot next to Hufanga's fill-in rookie G.I.R. Brown, but he's a free agent turning 34. Targeting a free safety type for nickel package coverage makes sense. McCaffrey is coming off winning his first league rushing title with 1,459 yards at age 27. He also won his second scrimmage yards crown with 2,023 yards in 2023, along with a league-high 21 touchdowns. He's fully healthy in his prime and is under contract for two more years before turning 30. Despite managing McCaffrey well, the 49ers need to be cautious about pushing him earlier into attrition, considering his workload. The team's ace zone blocking should improve, giving more reason to provide CMC relief with solid backups Elijah Mitchell and Jordan Mason. The 49ers cannot extend Purdy from his rookie seventh-round deal until after January 2025. There won't be 2024 off-season negotiations with the breakout second-year QB until then. However, the 49ers, who already need to manage their cap, must consider how much they would need to pay him in relation to the top of the QB market. This might impact decisions in advance, such as the potential need to move Ayak instead of extending him. The 49ers currently enjoy financial flexibility as Purdy is grossly underpaid as their starting QB. Still, as that benefit fades away, tougher decisions lie ahead on other valuable personnel.